CVA's Acura Series, Vergara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. All right, guys, it's time for this week's picture of the week. Let's go on over and do those now. They're being brought to you by our friends over at Flowers Garden Center. Y'all can stop in to see them at 4550 Eaton's Creek Road in Nashville, Tennessee. Let them take care of all your flower and gardening needs, and be sure to tell the Flowers family thank you for all they do for us here at the show. All right, check this right here out, Dayton. Shell <clears throat> cracker. This is a shell cracker. This is off of Old Hickory Lake. This is Gilbert Cooper with this fish. And what I want to mention is this is a two pound, one ounce shell cracker. Mm. And it could possibly be a new Old Hickory Lake record. Yes. So he's getting that checked out right now. Congratulations, Gilbert. That is that is a great fish right there. You've caught a lot of big ones the other day. Oh, People yeah. don't realize how shell crackers man. get some size. It's and they're like a big crappie, you know, two pounds and an ounce. That is some, a heck of a fish. some good eating too. It is. Congratulations on that one. All right, here's a nice white bass. This is Jimmy Jordan. He's got a four pound white bass here. And we want to thank Jimmy. He's sending his picture to us all the way from Lake Palestine, Texas. I hope I'm even saying that right. I'm gonna say Palestine, it might be Palestine, but either way, Jimmy, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your fish with us. And here on in, this is Chase Flutie. And this is a four pound bass from well, you probably recognize the rock in the Percy background Priest. or something, knowing you are the tree limb and all. That's Percy Priest Lake, and uh, congratulations on that one, Chase. It's produced some good fish the last few years. Man, it's Percy Priest has come a long it. way. Um, it's it's always been known as a good fisher, but in my opinion, it has it's really turned on. Crappie hybrid bass. Yeah, all the above. All of it. Congratulations on that one. Thank y'all for sharing those. Y'all can send your pictures to us here, 474 James Robertson Parkway, or get them to me on Facebook or at the email there on the screen. We'll share them here on the show just as soon as we can. All right, well, welcome back to the studio. We've been setting up this exciting turkey hunt, talking with Hoot here, and I'm ready to get you guys going. I just want to set it up there. Y'all are in West Tennessee, Hardeman County. County. No, we're, we're in Haywood. Oh, Haywood County, I'm yep. sorry. Uh, so Haywood County, West Tennessee, and uh, Hoot described this as Little Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> but really, usually turkeys, we're thinking big open pastures or something like that. Uh, you guys have been trying that. The birds were staying in this particular area, and it was time to yeah. get in there, and that's what and, you and did. What, so. What's weird is you can tell by the, the goblin. Th this just tore us up. But they were probably uh, what, within 100 yards all morning that morning. Who, I mean, well, y'all right the top, We from, got right in. We sure did. Uh, yeah. in, I hate to say it this way, right in the bedroom. Yeah, we sure did. did. We didn't, wasn't in the hallway. Yeah. We wasn't <laughs> at the front door. We were right there. Yep. Yeah. You we did. didn't know which one was going to come first. Yeah. It was you so didn't many care, of them. did you? Yeah. Well, let's go on over and check out this hunt.
terrified. I 
shot at his head, but that vine was right there one time. I know. This is, this is, how many, how many turkeys? I know it was four uh, hens was, at one time. I seen they were jakes. All of them? I was able to zoom in on them. They were jakes. Five of them. They was going to that other gobbler. Yeah, it was. It. Awesome morning. I mean, it's been good. We saw five jakes. I know we had four different long beards gobbling, two to our left, two to the right. And then this one right here, everything else come in front of us. But then this big bird right here, 11 and a half inch beard, inch and 3 16 sharp spurs. Come in, Hoot had to shoot him over his, his left shoulder. But uphill, he had to shoot him. But uh, Hoot, that's an awesome bird, brother. Man, I tell you what's the truth and what makes it so very special. I know. Who was using his daddy's old 870 shotgun that his daddy killed his first turkey with. And he decided to break it out of retirement, and that's what he shot this bird with. He'd been saying he wanted to do this. Hoot's a guy in South Carolina and just got back last week, and uh, we've been on them every day, haven't we, Hoot? Man, I tell you what's the truth. In my area, you know where I'm yeah. talking about it. No goblin, no, no size, no, no information you can go on. This, this is... Where we were is what, as a guide, I consider turkey central. Yes. You, you got one person pointing that way, one person pointing that way, and then at one time you both go that yep. way. And we slipped right in on them this morning, and we now, split the difference. We, as a guide, got guided. Because we, <laughs> as a guide, don't know the lay of the land like this guy, this man. And I'm telling you, we were right smack dab in the middle of them while they were still on the limb. It, it don't get no better than that. No. That's going to wrap it up right here. This is Hoot's first Tennessee bird this year. What, number 612, what you killed and yes. guided, I believe. Yes, sir. So uh, we're going to see if we can't get 613 tomorrow. So we'll see y'all next week on some more Southern Woods and Waters. See ya. Thank you. All right, guys, it's time for this week's product of the week. It's being sponsored by Caney Fork Outdoors. Y'all can find them at cfoutdoors.com. We'll get off I-40 there at the Center Hill Dam exit. Go to the bottom of the hill and make a right. They're going to be at the Big Rock Market. They can take care of all your kayaking needs and get you out on the beautiful Caney Fork River. All right, well, Dayton's got something over here tonight for you guys. Now, it's Dayton, it's getting that time for that nighttime fishing, especially you know Dale is. Hollis, Center Hill. You know it is. So we got the Yankum Custom Tackle Jigs that Bobby Gentry just loves. We get it in the black and the red. They got black and blue, black and chartreuse, green pumpkin, different colors. Yeah. And, and I've seen Bobby catch them on every one every of them. One of them. <laughs> but it's getting that time list. of year. Light line, hair flies, large mouth and small mouth. They'll be backing out a little bit. So it's a real go-to bait. Great time to get them. Now, y'all can get these at yankumcustomtackle.com, or you can stop in up here at the Old Bay River Market and get them there, the Rock Island Market. There's multiple places, but be sure and get some of those before you head out and do your night fishing here soon. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 